Defining moments and discovering purpose is what SEDEX is all about. Tune in to hear today's leaders and thought influencers as they share their stories, connecting their journey to their actions and bringing their life's lessons to you. Let's get started with our host, Doug Sandler. David Karshare is the author of the best-selling book, Becoming a Son, Emotional and Spiritual Intelligence for a Happy, Fulfilling Life. He's an author, a speaker, a poet, a workshop leader who brings insights to the process by which we access the light and warmth deep within the human soul. He's a member of the Evolutionary Leader Circle and originated the Healing Chant Workshop and the Journey into the Fire Intensive. He offers workshops and lectures as well. Defining moments and discovering purpose is what SEDEX is all about. David, share your inspiration, your message, and your story starting right now. Thank you, Doug. So good to be with you and to be with your audience and to share the, really the message of my book. And the message of my book is really very simple, which is that I believe we we're each born into this world to become a son, that we're already a son on the inside, and that it is our life destiny to let that sun out, to be an expression of light, an expression of warmth in the world, to bring our gravity as the sun brings gravity to the solar system. Now that can sound like just nice, happy talk, but for real, I believe that's what's happening. I believe it's the best way to understand what's happening in our life. Very literally, we have the same energy in us that is in the atom and in the sun. That same atomic energy right in our flesh. And it's configuring not only as some kind of living creature, but as a conscious human being. So all of that atomic energy that's within us, all that sun energy, is looking to express out through us as a human being, consciously through our thoughts, through our feelings, then through the energy field that we bring into the world. That really is what our human life is about individually. And I believe that's exactly what we're witnessing at large on the planet. That that tremendous creativity that's within humanity is trying to get out. It's trying to surface, trying to express itself. And you see that for some people, they've learned to harmonize with that process and they are becoming a son. They're being a son in the world. And there are people who we laud as having done that in, in an amazing way. But what we see of those people is true of all of us. And on the other hand, there are people who have that same atomic energy, that same solar energy within, and it's burning them up inside. It's not coming out. It's getting blocked. It burns us in the butt if we don't face it and welcome it. Let it in. Let in that solar energy, that warmth, that love, that light, that understanding and wisdom. If we don't drink it in, it just burns us in the butt in our life. And of course, so many people are having that experience. So we have a chance to get conscious about all that and to let it in and let it out. Now, how does that happen? And really that goes to the subtitle of the book. The subtitle of the book is about emotional and spiritual intelligence that lead to becoming a son, that make us happy and fulfilled in our life. Those two things are so linked, emotional intelligence and spiritual intelligence. We have a lot of spiritual belief, a lot of spiritual practice, a lot of spiritual dogma even in the world in which we live, but not necessarily a, a real experience of spiritual intelligence. And why? And it is because to have spiritual intelligence we really need to have emotional intelligence. There's something that has to happen in the heart. The heart has to become wise for the person to become wise, for you and I to become wise. Over the last 20 years or so, there's increasing talk about emotional intelligence. And maybe like you, most of what I see is really disappointing on that score. And while I celebrate the fact that we're at least talking about what emotional intelligence is. So much of what's out there on the theme has to do with performance and achievement, as if our own emotional capacity was meant to be 
a workhorse for our own human ends and aims. And I say that the heart is about much more than that. And the wisdom of the heart is about much more than that. The wisdom of the heart is, first of all, about opening up to the power of the sun within us. It is about that and about understanding how the heart works to do that. The heart is not just about how we lead better or how we achieve better or do better in business or how we market better or how we manipulate other people or how we find a partner or, or a date. Emotional intelligence is about something so much deeper than that. And yes, it applies to all those areas I just mentioned. But that deeper knowing of emotional intelligence is really about our own connection with the sun within us, our own connection, which is a heart connection with the wisdom and the love that's within us. It is that wisdom and love that sets us on fire as a human being. It fills us up. And then it is the basis, that connection to that, that energy and that knowledge that's within us, inherent in the life that we are. That's what allows there to be emotional intelligence in all the fields that we are in. It also brings real health and vitality. So much of health and vitality is about emotional intelligence. It's what's happening in the heart. And yes, there is a mind-body connection, but there's also an emotion-body connection that so few people seem to really understand in depth. The first chapter of my book is about the cracking open of the heart to the primal source of love within us. This is the first and greatest relationship of our life that we learn about, first of all, as a child, and really even as a baby, beginning in utero and then as we're born. We learn about this primal bond through the relationship with mother and father. We learn to simply let love in, to be surrounded by love and to let that love penetrate the heart. And if you ever see a little baby, that's just what it's doing. It's just open to that. And that's not supposed to ever close down that openness. And yes, there's a lot of wisdom and strength, a lot of knowledge that's going to come after that, a lot of growth for that little baby. But that quality of innocence and openness of the heart is so essential to everything else that's going to happen in that little baby's life. That openness of heart is so essential for health and vitality. It's so essential for learning. And it's so essential for every relationship that that little baby is ever going to have in its life. So the first chapter of my book is about the warmth of blessing. It's about all the practices, all, all of what it means to let that warmth in and to be a person of warmth who brings warmth to their world. So many things go wrong in the human experience where the warmth of the sun inside a person isn't coming out easily in relationship, in business, in just the living of a person's life. The second chapter of the book is about the rays of understanding. So it's about an understanding of the heart, understanding how the heart works, and allowing the knowledge of the heart to become not only a subconscious thing, but a conscious thing in a person's life. I want to read just a few words from the opening chapter of my book that's entitled Being a Son. And it says this, what your world and the people in it need most from you is for you to be a son. They need your warmth, your ability to offer your care for their well-being, your ability to offer blessing, nothing imposed, nothing affected, just the abiding spirit of love, constant in your heart of hearts. When faced with the coldness of other people or the coldness of the world, return that coldness with your warmth. So I hope this gives you a taste for what the book is about. It is a book of poetry and prose. I decided early on that I really couldn't 
convey the message that I wanted to get, convey just by explaining it, just through prose. And I thought the poetry was going to be necessary, and I am a poet, so I used my poetry to convey what really has to be not only an, an understanding of the mind, but an understanding of the heart. And the book is in little bite-sized chapters that could be read once a day if a person so choose. And I'm very happy to report that I'm finding people are not only buying the book, but enjoying the reading of it, finding that it connects to them, that it, it nourishes their heart and, and feeds their wisdom. If you want to find out more about the book, you can go on to Amazon.com, and it's being sold on Amazon. You can also find me at my website, which is davidcarshare.com. You can sign up for my mailing list and find out more about the workshops and, and lectures that I offer, and uh, just find a way to connect. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for becoming a son, because I know that's exactly what's happening for all of us. And just uh, good to be with you and all people everywhere who are having that experience. To get more information about SEDx, our guest today, and to share your comments and questions, click on the show notes for important links, offers, and contact information. If you know someone that would be a good fit for SEDx, please send us a message and share this episode on social media. Thanks again for tuning in to SEDx.